Good afternoon, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times and welcome to Crosswords Live. You have had three or four weeks of uh, Sam Mazursky hosting uh, because I was away and uh, today Sam is out so I'm back and uh, I am happy to have you all with me because this is a tricky, tricky puzzle. Thursdays usually are tricky but this one has sort of a, a double Double, doubles down on the trickiness. Uh, today's puzzle is by Kyle Dolan, and it's his seventh or eighth puzzle for the New York Times. Um, I have, um, I have, uh, let's see, I had a lot of difficulty with this one, and on wordplay, um, we were, there's a lot of controversy for this one. Uh, people have been, uh, People have been complaining that it's sneaky, that it's underhanded, that it's too hard, that it's like a Saturday. I don't know. Uh, it took me a long time to figure this one out because of a certain element that I'm not very good at, and I'll admit that to you. Um, but I was able to get a start, and I'm going to hold off on calling out people because uh, I don't have my uh, my comments iPad you hear yet, but uh, it's on its way, so I'll be able to say hello to everybody. Uh, but let's start off right now with a, one of my gimmies, because I happen to like uh, lolcat, and the greeting on many lolcat memes is, oh hi, uh, which is a deliberately misspelled greeting from our feline overlords. Uh, let's see, what else was, um, what, el what else was it? Oh, one of my favorite books from 2017, Lincoln in the Bardo. Lincoln in the Bardo by, oopsie, sorry, I mistyped that one. Uh, I guess I'm a little rusty, so please bear with me. B-A-R-D-O, Lincoln in the Bardo by George Saunders, a really good book, not for everybody. Uh, it's a little bit different in the terms of the way uh, it's written, but uh, really, really unusual experiment in novel writing, and I enjoyed it. Uh, let's see, Samuel Beard agrees on high. Kathy Broadus says two down is Badu. Let's see what that's about. Oh, Erica, yes, of course, Erica Badu. Thank you for that. Um, Mary Fallhaber says hi. Uh, Lyobel Matus says hi. Uh, hi, everybody. Prash VTM says 13 across is roof. Mm, I don't know. We've got Erica Badu there. Setting for peak viewing. Ah, very good guess there. Very good guess. That was a tough one. Um, the setting almost sounds like a camera setting, doesn't it? But in this case, the word setting means an actual locale. And um, the peak viewing is not the ultimate in viewing. It is the peak of a mountain. So where would we go and stand to look up at a peak? We would look at the bottom. We would stand at the bottom, and which is also called a veil. Uh, Mike Stedham says, howdy, Mike. Uh, R. Edwin Sudier says, 32 across is chick. Huh. Let's take a look. Young fowl. Um, let's see. Well, it could be chick. Let's type that in and see if it's right. We're going to, whoops. Oh, boy. I've got auto check on here. Uh, auto check is our new feature right up here, which tells you whether you have the right letters or not. And clearly, I don't. But you know what I'm going to do? We don't need that. I'm going to turn it off. OK, let's let's see. We know chick isn't right, but thank you anyway. Uh, let's see. Sue G says, just tried to do a New York Times puzzle in my local paper, and the next day, and the answer is two letters in one block four times. How would one know that's this possible? That's a great question, Sue. That's called a rebus, and we don't tell you ahead of time about it, but we do ask that you try to work it out. That is uh, part of the fun of solving. Uh, Emily Finnegan agrees on Bardo. Uh, Julie John says 34 across is PLO. Let's see. Take a militant org in a 1994 peace agreement. Uh, IRA, PLO is a, is, a, is a good guess, but the, the answer actually in this one is IRA. Uh, and the reason I know that 
is because we've got Bardo up here. If this was PLO, if I put a P here, it probably wouldn't make much sense. There aren't many words that start with BP. So I know, I know it's more likely to be IRA, but thank you for that guess. Uh, Arandi Lashika says hi from Sri Lanka. Hi, Arandi. Uh, Judy Bushin says five down is Jack. Let's see, crew gear. I don't know what a Jack, oh, you know what? You may be thinking of a pit crew. Are you thinking of a pit crew, Judy? Um, in this case, I think they're talking about the sport of crew. Otherwise, they would say pit crew gear. Uh, and the sport of crew requires that you use oars. So thank you for that. That was a great guess. Uh, Susan Reinke says 16 across is O'Leary. Kevin O'Leary, one of the sharks on Shark Tank. That's correct. Thank you for that. And even if you guess and you don't get it right, that's okay. We are here to play a game together. So right, wrong, the fact of the matter is we're sitting down and doing something together. That's the main point. All right, so we're going to scroll down. Uh, and uh, Bruce Giordano says 13, I'm sorry, 31 down is biker. One who goes hog wild, right. There's your question mark uh, clue, which means that it's a pun or some sort of wordplay. And someone who goes hog wild or rides a Harley is definitely a biker. So thank you about, thank you for that. Uh, Samuel Beard. Nope. Yep. That, that was biker. Uh, Leslie Ann Ellis is 51 down. Let's skip down here. Uh, says party that might have a bouncer. And she says it's a stag party. Well, you know what? I think that if you're having a stag party, it's entirely possible you might need a bouncer. But uh, this was a little bit stretchy for me. It, the answer is not stag. It's actually a rave. I would imagine, I guess, with everybody uh, doing what they do at raves, you probably need somebody to, to keep the peace there. Um, let's see. Karen Sarah Jennings said, I did this earlier today, not my favorite bus puzzle. Okay. Um, that, you know what, that's perfectly okay. Some days, some days uh, you get the puzzle, some days the puzzle gets you. Uh, Katatat says 12 down is die. Let's see. Oh, curl up and die. The, a punny salon name. Yep. Curl up and die. And the pun is that it's D-Y-E instead of D-I-E. So there you go. Um, let's see. Julia Edelman says ducky. And that's a great question, Julia, but I don't know what you're, you're referring to. Uh, Christopher Adams said, I've, oh, we're not going to quite give that away yet, Christopher. I, I know I don't get them either usually, but I will say that um, it's, it, this was a tough puzzle, so don't feel bad. Um, Let's see, Jamie DePaz says 39 across is kin. Let's see, they're related. Yes, absolutely, they're kin. And see how everybody has their own gimmies. We call those your own wheelhouse. Some people know one thing, some people know another. I knew about Lincoln and the Bardo because I read it last year. Uh, other people know about raves more than I do. Sin Kildare agrees on rave. Mike Stedham says 51 down is kids. Oh, they might need a bouncer. Yeah, well, yeah, I've, I've been to a few kids' parties in my life. I could have used a bouncer. Um, let's see. Alexandra Franco says 28 down is pariah. Hmm. Let's see. Friend to none. Yes, that's exactly what pariah means. Thank you very much. And... Uh, Rob Ott says 44 across is evidence. Hmm. Well, you know what? Evidence would be a great asset for a detective, but I think they're talking about something that the detective, him or herself, has. And we have EA here. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that if I was a detective, I'd appreciate having an eagle eye. Okay, so I'm going to put that in. Uh, but that was a great guess. Let's see. Brian Payne Duncan says 62 across is a slicer. Piece of deli counter equipment. Yes, I wanted this to be scale, but there's too many letters. And the answer is indeed slicer. Thank you for that. 
Uh, what else? Kristen Marie Caparelli agrees on Eagle Eye. Reese Watt says 63 across is tea. Serving often accompanied by a cinnamon stick. Oh, boy, that sounds yummy. I could go for one of those. Um, unfortunately, I think they're talking about a creamier drink. Um, and let's see, maybe we can solve this one. If it's T, then this letter should end with, this word should end with an E. And that's really bad. Hmm. Not sure. We don't have enough yet. But I'm pretty sure that this is probably not going to be T. We'll come back to it. Cynthia Hardy McCabe agrees on kin. Uh, Daria Yampetro Stark got one that I didn't know. 47 across. A large bird of the pampa, says the Rhea. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Sasha Munir says 14 down is um, Erised from Harry Potter, Mirror of Erised. Let's see what that is, mirrored. Um, well, you know what? That's a great guess, except here what they want is not the name of something. They want a synonym for mirroring something. And the other thing is, we have this rule in solving crosswords uh, that if you have a verb as a clue, then you have to have a verb as the answer. Same with a noun. If it's a noun in the clue, it has to be a noun in the answer. So here we have mirrored. That means we need something starting with an E and ending with a D that uh, means to mirror or perhaps to have echoed something. See? Um, but that's a great, a great guess, and I remember the mirror of Vera said. Uh, Robert Richmond agrees on Pariah. Bradley Schwelk is going out for Chipotle. Oh, nope, sorry, that's 58 across. Uh, chain with a pepper in its logo is indeed Chipotle. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Julia Edelman says 32 is Ducky and Declare. Let's see. <coughs> uh, young Fell. Uh, well, uh, it's not, I don't know if it's Ducky, but let's see what we've got here. Emphasize. Um, we don't have enough for that yet. Six down, hook up with in a way. Uh, debate settings. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take a guess on that one. I'm going to say that the guess is forums. And if that's the case, then it's not going to be ducky, young fowl. Uh, let's see, 30 down, we've been fooled. Um, not sure yet. We're gonna, we'll come back to that. Uh, let's see, Louis, Luis Sao Paulo says 55 as far as Gustav. 55, let me see, 55. Composer Mahler. Yes, Gustav Mahler. Thank you for that. Gustav, thank you. Let's see if we can we can finish this corner here. Uh, super time, if you're having a super time, that's a gas. Modern citation info. Um, well, your people are usually quoting links on the internet, so that would be a URL. Uh, a foreign title of respect would be Sri. And look at this, we almost have this one now. Make it, if you've made it, you've arrived. And let's see, everybody's agreeing on kin. Uh, Priyamvada uh, Bide, and please forgive me if I mispronounce your name, it says 45 down is lactic, obtained from milk. Yes, of course, thank you for that. Uh, let's see, we've got, oh, look at this. Stunning creatures from the Amazon. I have no idea what that is yet. Uh, Ruben de Casas is 53 down is Olga, first wife of Pablo Picasso. Yes, absolutely, Olga. Thank you for that. Uh, Bridget Dahl says 41 down is beer can. 41 down. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Bit of trash. I was a little sister at a fraternity. A bit of trash around a fr fraternity house is definitely a beer can, if not more. And uh, let's see. And then she says, 63 across is a nog. There you go. That is a serving often accompanied by a cinnamon stick. Honestly, I would put 
I would put a cinnamon stick in my tea too, to whoever said that, but it's, uh, it just is not the answer today because we now have an answer that ends in an O and an answer that ends in a G, fulfilling, and because we have to match parts of speech, we're, I know that this is most likely an N, so I'm going to drop that in there. And 60 across, common female middle, middle name. Oh, well, this is easy. It happens to be my middle name, which is Anne. And uh, let's see. Jayshri Srinivasan says 54 down is neon. We are crushing this. Look at you guys. Okay. Super bright is definitely neon. Thank you for that. Where else can we go? I'm looking. Uh, let's see. Oh, boy. Shannon Kelleher has started to get this. Uh, we're going to, you know what, we're not going to give it away just yet, Shannon. We'll come back to it. Uh, a lot of people are agreeing on Olga. A lot of people are agreeing on Lactic. Arandi Lakshika says 36 down is Isis over. Oh, that's a nice long one. I like that. Becomes slippery in a way. Oh, yes, absolutely. Isis, sorry, I'm typing slowly, over. Thank you. And, um... Let's see. Well, you know, somebody did just shout that out. I think her name was Shannon, said 50 across says common farming technique or a hint to solving this puzzle. Now, normally I would not give away the revealer. That is what this, this clue is called. It's the, it gives you a hint, common farming technique, but it also tells you that this answer is a hint to solving the rest of the puzzle. So she had said that this was crop rotation. Oops, sorry about that. Crop rotation, huh. I wonder what that means. We're gonna have to figure that out, you guys. Um, I know what crop rotation is when it comes to farming or gardening. I have a home garden and I try to rotate my crops so uh, a different crop grows in each part of my garden every year and that keeps the soil healthy. Um, let's see. There's got to be something to it. Uh, let's see. Christopher Dunn is selling a couch if anybody needs one. Uh, Peter Sevilla says one across, and Bridget Dawhall says one across is Abe. Thank you for that. Yes, Mountain, Mount Rushmore figure, familiarly, is Abraham Lincoln. <clears throat> Sorry. And let's see. Uh, Luis Sao Paulo, oh, got the young fowl. It's, an, it's a word that we don't normally use uh, very often, but it's polt. The name for a young fowl is a poult, which is where we get the word poultry from. And uh, let's see, uh, Christopher Dunn's is 27 down couch. I'm sorry, I thought you had a uh, World Series champ, 27 down. Oh, sorry, that, was, that would be an astro, not a couch. But uh, Bruce Giordano says 40 across are scabs. Scabs are people who work across picket lines and work when union workers are on strike. But I like this clue. I want you to just take a, a moment to appreciate this. Ones whose work is strikingly controversial. Now, you wouldn't think that, you wouldn't think much of that. You would think that the word strikingly was being used to modify controversial, uh, like in extremely controversial, but it's not. The clue is in the word strikingly. If you are striking uh, and you are someone who is a union worker and if you are causing controversy around that strike, you are most likely a scab. Uh, Bethany Wu knows Anne, and Susan Camp says 64 across is ran. Let's see, went for a seat, yes. We're not playing, uh, we're not playing um, musical chairs here. Uh, you don't, we're talking about running for a seat in an election. So the answer is ran, thank you for that. Boy, you guys are killing it. Everybody is starting to get crop rotation now. Uh, Arandi... Lakshika says 30 down is, it's a trap. We've been fooled. I love this entry. This is a great entry. It's a trap. Oops, sorry about that. Trap. There we go. 
Wow, look at you guys. Susan Camp says 42 across is R so. You are so right. I thought that was going to be a playground ta taunt, but it's not. Sin Kildare says 32 down is play up to emphasize. Yep, if you emphasize your eyes, you play them up. Uh, Ruth Brand Coopersmith got that also. Uh, let's see. Bradley Shulk says 49 across is a rod. Yank, who retired with 2,086 RBI. Absolutely. Alex Rodriguez, whoopsie, sorry about that, Rod, there you go. Uh, Leah Cope agrees on it's a trap. Uh, let's see, Andrea Rabinald says 29 across is trailers. Some teasers, yes, absolutely. See how easy this, whoopsie, as long as you're not mistyping like I am. See how easy this is once you start to get going and once you solve together? All we have to do is put, you know, a few hundred thousand of our heads together, and we got this. We got this. Uh, Joey Montez says, have a great day, everyone. Have a great day, Joey. Uh, let's see. Everybody's agreeing on play up and are so. Reese Watt got one that absolutely cracked me up. 48 across. Good name for a tort lawyer is Sue. Yes, if you're if you're a lawyer and your name is Sue, I'm sure people all over the bar are going to make fun of you. Uh, Leslie Ann Ellis and a couple of other people. Susan Camp say 61 across is no go. Let's see, 61 across. Ah, here we are. Scrub. You're right. Exactly like a rocket launch. That that's a great way to think about it. If you've scrubbed a mission, it's a no go. Thank you for that. Oh, look at this one. This one's almost done. To back vocally is to root on, I think. And how about this one? Or even. Uh, don't have enough information for that. Uh, let's see. A lot of people are agreeing on play up. Aj, I'm sorry. AJ Reeve says 11 down is air. Poetic preposition, absolutely, air, which is short for before. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Sheldon Vaughn says, one down is avid. Ardent, yes, if you're ardent, you're avid about something. Uh, stunning creatures of the Amazon. We still don't have that. It ends in range, I think. Um, not sure. Uh, everybody's agreeing on avid and no-go. Andrea uh, Rabinold says 18 down is let loose. Delivered a rant. Yeah, well, if you're, if you're going to deliver a rant, you're definitely letting loose. Thank you for that. Um, hmm. General amount of money that something sells for. P blank, E L blank. I don't, I don't know. I don't get that, you guys. How about you? Do you anybody got that? Uh, we'll, we'll come back to it. A lot of people are shouting out 35 across oil. Um, Sasha Munir says 35 across oil since Mona Lisa is an oil painting. You know what? I think you're right. Let's, let's go there. Hey, we got it. We got it. We were, there's a little bit of a lag here on Facebook live, but we did, uh, I think get it when we put in the, um, in the downs, but it's definitely worth going back and looking at some of the clues because they are pretty clever. Um, Rachel Early D says 46 down, and Marsha Lucas also says 46 down is sating. Let's take a look at that. Fulfilling. Yes, to fulfill somebody is to sate them. Uh, let's see. Behind the scenes worker in TV news, STO blank blank. Not really sure about that, but we'll come back to it. That's okay. A lot of people are agreeing on oil and sating. Regis O'Neill agrees on sating. Uh, Cedric Mastura and a lot of other people have said 38 across is tar. Sticky stuff. Absolutely tar. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. You know what? Arandi Lakshika says Electrange is a creature of the Amazon. So let's type that in. Okay. E L E C T R R A. You know, I, I just, it doesn't look right to me. Something else is going on here. In fact, two things are going on here, actually. Um, you know, you're, you're, 
mostly right, but we need to figure out two things from this crop rotation revealer. And we're going to figure out what that is. We're just not there yet. Sandra Weeman says 24 across is Abba, like the group. Biblical like father. Yes, Abba is a, a name, a Middle Eastern name for father. Uh, a lot of people are saying 46 across is story. Well, let's see. Behind the scenes worker in TV news. That's entirely possible. Let's put it in and see what we get. So we've got story here, but is that a behind the scenes worker in TV news, you guys? I don't think it is. I, you know, a behind the scenes worker is a person. And a story is not a person. So also here, let's see what this is. Fried chicken order. I don't know what a fried chicken order is that ends in a Y. I, I you know, I think that there's a fried, you could, you could order a breast if you go to a fried chicken restaurant, but then that leaves us with stort. So what's going on here? Could it be that we have a rebus? Cecile Shellman thinks so. She's in another part of the uh, puzzle, but I'm going to work on this one for right now. Now, if you're just joining us, a rebus is, to some people, a really annoying element in a crossword puzzle uh, that is done to make the solver work a little bit harder. And a rebus is, in this case, when we can squeeze more than one letter into a box. It could be a symbol, it could be a number, it, but in this case, it's more than one letter. And the, and the question that most often comes up is, how do I put more than one letter in a box if I'm solving online or in the app? And I'm going to show you that it's very easy. We're gonna go all the way up here to the Rebus button Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but up at the top above the clues, there are four buttons, Rebus, Clear, Reveal, Check, and a pen, oh, I'm sorry, five. Rebus, Clear, Reveal, Check, and a pencil. We're gonna click on that Rebus button, and look what happens. It opens up a box for us with a flashing cursor, and you can type quite a few letters into there. So here's what I'm gonna do. We if we think about crop rotation, I'm going to think about a crop that we can uh, plant, and that one would be the grain rye. And then I hit enter to, to seal it. And look what I've got here, you guys. I've got S-T-O-R-Y-E, and then I'm going to rotate that, D-I-T-O-R, story editor. Oh my God, we just rotated a crop. Uh, Sheena Kirkpatrick Lewis says, you can't see top or all the clues. I apologize for that, Sheena. I'm working down at the bottom right now, but we're going to be doing, uh, we're gonna be going up there in just a second. Um, so we've got story editor as the, uh, as the behind the scenes worker in TV news by going downward. Uh, it's when it should be across, and we've even got here, a lot of people have been shouting out that Tet is, yes, Tet is the Vietnamese New Year, and that is the Winter Festival. So, or even, turns out to be B-E-T, whoopsie, T-T-E-R-Y-E-T. -E -E Better yet. Isn't that cool? So what should be story editor going this way gets rotated this way. And what should be better yet going down gets rotated across. And that's the crop rotation. So um, Harsher's Jane just asked, how can there be three letters in a place? Well, it's just an element of crossword puzzle solving that we call a rebus. And you can read all about it actually on Wordplay. If you guys notice, I don't know if you can see it down here, but down below the puzzle, they have been gracious enough to put the Wordplay daily crossword column right below the puzzle, including our, sol and to the right of that is our solving guide, some of the stuff that we do uh, to help, help people learn things that are in puzzles, like what the heck is that? our weekly feature, and um, 
the lists like all the birds you need to know to be better at crossword solving. So if you need help, definitely go to WordPlay and we have a whole article. In, in fact, if you go to today's column, I do link to another article that we wrote called Yes, You Can Write More Than One Letter in a Square and it's all about rebuses. Uh, the print is, oh, Edlin now says I can't see any of the clues. Edlin, try turning your device sideways. Um, I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry it's so small. Um, you know, I've heard that if you turn your device sideways uh, that you it does get a little bit bigger. Um, let's see. Uh, and to everybody who's saying thank you for the explanation, that is def that is my job. I am, I don't know if anybody's aware of this, I am the head writer and editor of Wordplay. Uh, we have a daily column where we discuss the puzzle and we are happy to have you guys come talk about how you feel about the puzzle, come join, come solve with us and, um, you know, ask any questions you want in, in the column. Somebody will be there to help you. Anyway, back to the puzzle. Rose O'Brien and Amber Bolu Lights, and please forgive me if I mispronounce your name, say 17 across is I declare, and that's right, my goodness, I declare, thank you, I'm um, getting my southern roots out, um, and yes, Lauren Hauser, I think it is very clever, it's a hard one, but it really makes you think, um, Ruth Brown says she wants the top clues, I know a lot of people did, so let me go back up here, how's that, I think that's a little bit better, uh, let's see. And Teresa Munoz welcoming me back. Thank you, Teresa. It's good to be back. Um, let's see. Philip Mitchell has figured out the, uh, figured out 28 across. So let's go to this. Um, we had electric, electro range here. Um, let's see. Um, 28 across, general amount of money that something sells for. I think that's a price range. I do. But we have to figure out how to get it in here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to our Rebus button. We're going to open up the square and type in R-I-C-E, hit enter, and look at that. We've got rice right in there. That's our second crop. First we had rye, and now we have rice. And now our job is to rotate that crop. So we've got P, R, I, C, E, R, A, N, G, E, price range. So now we have to figure out what this one is. Stunning creatures of the Amazon happens to be electric eels. E, L, E, C, T, R, I, C, E, E, L, S, electric eels. And that's two down. We got one more to go, guys, and we're going to crush this. Uh, Barbara Rocky says, hi. Hi, hi Barbara. Uh, Samuel Beard says, electric eels. Mitch Espiritu is unusually happy to see a rebus. Uh, I personally, I'm, I'm not very good at them, but good for you, Mitch. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, Samuel Beard guessed the rebus is rice. Uh, Mitch Espiritu says electric eels. Philip Mitchell says eight down is aloe. It's always going to be aloe, you guys. Skin cream ingredient. There are very few other ways to clue this, uh, is aloe. And, uh, let's see, what about this one? Lug. To lug something is to tote it. And what else have we got? Who's got, who said MLS before? I think that's org for... The Philadelphia Union and DC United, that's Major League Soccer. And because we have that abbreviation up here, org, abbreviation in the clue, means abbreviation in the answer. So instead of writing out Major League Soccer, we have MLS. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Demita Anna says, is 10 down dab? Let's see. Alternative greeting to a high five. What well, you are so close, Demita. So close. Um, if we if <laughs> if I were to greet somebody with a dab, it probably would be slightly unusual. But the alternative to a high five is to make bump fists, and that's actually called dap. So we're going to do that. Um, dabbing is when you put your face in your elbow and put your arm out the other way. Um, Yerzana uh, Ahmed 
Sanova says 20 across is Cornwall. Yes, the Duchess, I don't, yes, the Duchess of Cornwall, but it doesn't look like we're going to fit that in here. So I'm not quite sure how to do that. We're going to figure it out, Yerzana, though. Uh, Susan Camp says nine down is neural. A kind of network. Yes, absolutely. Uh, could be a television network, but today it's neural. Uh, let's see. Gave personally. If you give somebody something personally, you've handed it over. And let's see. A lot of people are agreeing on DAP and MLS and ALO. Uh, Angela Carnsenius says four is Chase's. Staples of action films. Now, this was a funny one. I am trained to be highly suspicious of anything that even sounds like wordplay. So I immediately thought that this clue was referring to an actor or actress whose last name was Staples, as in something Staples of action films. But I overthought it. And sometimes that's something that you just do. But the staples of action films, something you see very often in them, are indeed chases. So thank you for that. So here we have, and you know, we've got title for Prince Charles Camilla. And she is indeed the Duchess of Cornwall. So I'm not really sure how to do this, except maybe, just maybe, this is another rebus. Let's see. Third base and baseball lingo. Uh, didn't know about that. Um, let's see. A lot of people are... Oh, Brian Payne Duncan's got it. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Ruth, oh, hold on. We, we skipped one. A lot of people are shouting out Ruth Brown, Cooper Smith, Samuel Beard, Philip Mitchell, Brian Payne Duncan, every... Oh, Rose O'Brien. Everyone is shouting out Cot, a bit of camp gear. Definitely. Now, this one's got to be hook up with in a way is to tie onto. Okay. Um, let's see. And this one, this day and age, that's got to be now. So we've got something wall. Oh, alternative to plugs. I love that. That's a toupee. And let's see. So we've got this is the only other place we could have that rebus, Duchess of Cornwall. Let's see if we can put it in. We're going to hit the Rebus button again. Open up that square and type in corn and hit enter. Oops, look at me. Or look at us, rather. We solved a really hard Thursday puzzle, but check this out, you guys. We're going to go over this one just, just one last time before I let you go. The Duchess, I, I don't care how you feel about Camilla. She is not the Duchess of Corner. In, in spite of what it reading, but she is the Duchess, D-U-C-H-E-S-S-O-F, corn, C-O-R-N, wall, because we're going to rotate it. And then we've got third base in baseball lingo is not a hot corn wall as far as I know, but it is a hot corner, H-O-T-C-R-O-N-E-R. -E so we've rotated those two crops. And Joey Montez has got it. Alexandra Kennan got handed. Uh, Wendell and Johnson has now. Chris Derry got the corn. Michael Levin has hot corner. God, you guys are, you guys killed it. Bye, Samuel Beard. It's been fun. And look at us. We smashed the Thursday crossword puzzle because we can do anything together, right? We all have different knowledge, different opinions on things, but that's okay. That's what, that's what makes things interesting, and that's what contributes to us all being able to smash a New York Times crossword together. So hang in there, you guys, and keep, keep solving together. Um, visit me on Wordplay. We're here every day. We have new things coming out all the time. If you're interested in making a crossword puzzle, by the way, we just finished running a five-part series on how to make a crossword puzzle that is also running on wordplay. Um, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times wishing you a wonderful Thursday. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you next week.